I just got done watching Who Done It, and um, uh, the second to the last episode, and I'm I'm still sticking sticking with my theory of Cam being the killer. I almost I'm now kind of suspicious of Chris because if you watch the second to the last episode when you saw the smoke come up. I didn't see any smoke machine of any type or something, but um, I do know that it came out right by Chris. So that is kind of suspicious to me, like she set something off. Or maybe that's Cam's plan is to, because I know the killer likes to do poison and he likes to, apparently now he likes to set timers off. So maybe it was a timer on a smoke machine going off at a certain time and made sure that he standed, stood far away from it to make people think maybe he wasn't, like, did, didn't do anything. And I'm really excited for the season finale of Who Done It. I'm really excited for that. And, uh, um, I, I'm really excited for that because I don't know. I want to, I think Chris will win because she's good at solving the riddles. And I think that maybe the person that figures out who the killer is wins. But if the final three right now, if the final three is Cam, Chris, and Lindsay, like I thought it would be, and Melita didn't die, then I don't know. I bet she, she died. So I think I was right about Cam, Chris, and Lindsay being the final three. And, um,. I don't know, it'd be kind of weird because if Chris is going to win, I think she might have to say Cam is the killer, but Lindsay might not win either because they both think Cam, or, well, Cam thinks Lindsay the killer, Lindsay thinks it's uh, Chris, and Chris thinks it's Lindsay, and nobody thinks it's Cam anymore, and if Melita didn't die, I don't know what to say about that. But I bet you she did, because I think they go down to the final three, and then the killer is revealed. So, um, and then, you know, I just think that, I thought that was kind of a weird episode, though. I don't, I, I wouldn't really call that weird, but, you know, I really, I'm like, Wait, like, Ronnie was poisoned? Like, that's like a third or fourth time the killer has put poison in something to kill somebody. I don't know why the killer likes to do that for some reason. All the murderers are just putting poison in something. Cyanide and oleander. They're always putting some kind of poison in something to kill people. And that's kind of weird to me, though. So that's two things I know the killer likes to do. Put poison in things and set timers off for things. And that's one of my theories on the smoke. I think the killer, this is the one thing, one thing that uh, I actually have a little aha on but before I, the next episode is even on. I think Cam, well, that's who I think the killers set off a timer um, near on the when they walk in the left side, but for Pam, like, ahead of him, a smoke machine with a timer on it, and I think it might have been when the TV, um, went on, the, somehow that set off a timer for, like, 15, 20 seconds, and then when I, I think the killer must have, um, made the TV, the TV interruption kind of exactly the same time, but right, like, right left, like, three seconds before the smoke went up, and that's how I think that got all arranged and stuff, and otherwise, I almost think it's Chris, but, but, um, now I'm, uh, now I'm thinking Cam might not be the killer, because Cam is left-handed, I think he does everything with his left hand, and the killer was writing right-handed, he wrote the Steel Giles cell phone with Gino, did that right-handed, and he was writing, Crossing off the names when Ronnie claimed to know who the killer was, he crossed off that with his light, with his right hand. Excuse me. So that's what I think. Um, that's what I'm kind of 
shocked with, but um, I'm going to keep on sticking with Cam as the killer, and I think Chris is going to win. I guess it's kind of hard to do. I guess it's going to kind of hard to say things now because season's almost over so I'm going to keep on having watching who done it see what I think next bye guys